lovelies, lovely soul empress here coming to do the earth signs for December. I mean, unbelievable. Getting ready to close out the year. I hope that 2022 was uh, good to you. I know that it was a little bit, the energy was a little crazy, but I hope that when you look back, that you feel like it was a productive year. Okay, so let's let's take a look at what is coming in for you guys for the month of December, this last month of the calendar year. Spirit, can you show me what's coming in for my earth signs, Taurus, Virgo, and Capricorn, you have shine coming out crossed, okay? So I feel like you are in some kind of leadership role, okay? You may be a little uncomfortable with this, okay? Or, you know, there could be a lot going on where it's a little hectic, where you can't enjoy the shine, okay? Maybe you're quite busy, spirit, what else? You have believe coming out cross, okay? So there's some type of challenge at the end of the year, all right? Some type of challenge. You gotta keep hope alive, keep faith alive. Show me, spirit. Show me. You could also be experiencing something that you didn't think was gonna happen is happening, spirit, show me. And you have also revealed, may your openness lead to lead you to connection. So something is being revealed to you for the month of December. Okay, this could be reflective. You have faith, okay? So that's coming out in the upright and pause, okay? So there's something where you have to take a step, hold on for a moment. At the bottom of the... Uh, deck is begin so there's a pause right before the new beginning it might be assessment all right so we're gonna take a look and see what else comes out for you guys in the um beach time soul spirit can you show me is that another card left yes okay spirit can you show me what else do my earth signs, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, need to know for the month of December, please? You have paradise here. Happiness, expansion, joy, playfulness, oneness, enjoying each other, okay? And I heard almost paradise. We're knocking on heaven's door. The dragonfly, okay? Be lighthearted, finding out things coming to light. Adapt, change, heal. So there's something, there's a shift, something un, unforeseen or something that you didn't expect to happen. Okay, you got lightning, sudden change, shocking news, surprise, epiphany, upheaval, transformation, and it came out in reverse. There could have been something hidden from you, but I feel like this was not, it's not lightning. Like it's not necessarily shocking. Like you might have known it was a possibility, but didn't think Right? Or this could have been something you were manifesting but wasn't sure it was going to happen. Okay? And then self-indulgence. Okay? Focus on self. Self-worth. Time to heal. Shadow work. Self-appreciation. And it came out a little crossed. Right? So maybe you are surprised that something is coming that gives you confirmation of your self-worth. But we're going to take a look. We're going to take a six-card spread and see what is going on. Spirit. Can you show me what do my earth signs, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, need to know for the month of December? What do they need to know, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn? Spirit, can you show me the situation for Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, please? One card. You have here the Ace of Swords, okay? Came out crossed, so it's like you're... There might be something that you don't know, that you don't believe in, or you're unsure of. Spirit, can you show me what is coming in for Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn for the month of December? What is coming in for the month of December? Six of Wands, a victory. Also being in the front, you had that shine card, right? It may be uncomfortable. Maybe this is something you're not used to. Spirit, can you show me what's falling away? What is falling away for 
earth signs, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn for the month of December. What's falling away? One card, please. What's falling away for Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn? One card. You have the three of air coming out cross and the knight of earth coming out crossed, okay? Spirit, can you show me what is it that my earth signs cannot see? You got the six of pentacles. What is uh, it that is the truth of the matter for my earth signs, please? What is the truth of the matter for earth? What is the truth of the matter? One card, please. What's the truth of the matter for my earth signs? You have the three of earth coming out here. Spirit, can you show me what is the most likely outcome, please? The knight of fire, knight of wands. Okay, and that is with the eight of water at the bottom of the deck. So we're going to take a look. Underneath that, the seven of cups. There's something unknown. There's something unknown about an outcome. And you're unsure. It feels like a, a risk that you have taken on freely. And that's why, you, you know, you're not sure of what the outcome is going to be. All right, so we're going to take a look. You have the ace of swords here spirit why is this ace of swords here for taurus virgo capricorn for the situation for the month of december please why is this ace of swords here with the eight of pentacles okay this is a uh, truth about work maybe you're changing work right watch me work all right you're you're also taking on a project okay this also could be about someone else's work the truth about wanting to work on something. The bottom of the deck is the Empress. That is Taurus. Okay, this is about your self-worth. Okay, with the Six of Wands here in the position of what's coming in. You got judgment. Okay, it's coming out slightly crossed. There's a victory upon you. Somebody else has to make a decision about this. Okay, with the Ace of Swords has to do with their truth and you may be waiting on an answer because you've taken on something so you've taken on something you're moving forward it feels like somebody has to make a decision whether they're working on this with you or not with the seven of pentacles coming out at the bottom of the deck you know somebody could be assessing if this is a good situation for them or you could be assessing or you both could be assessing the viability, viability of a situation. Now you have the three of air here coming out crossed in the position of um, what's falling away. And that is with the knight of earth. Okay, so spirit, why is this three of swords here crossed with the eight of wands and the ten of wands, right? So there was some type of heartbreak in the past that has been plaguing this connection that's why there's a judgment here about how to move forward in the situation there is passionate communication with uh between you and with the knight of swords i feel like you both have put your your cards out on the table there could be an air sign involved in this gemini libra and aquarius also another earth sign all right spirit why is this knight of pentacles here crossed okay so you could be wondering if something's ever gonna move forward okay because maybe somebody hasn't been clear about their intentions or you don't feel like they're showing signs of movement okay and with the king of wands coming out crossed you might be right about that okay this is lackluster action being taken and it's the ten of swords and this is in the position of what is falling away so this is what you've been dealing with in the past okay so with the king of pentacles at the bottom of the deck this is your card but i also feel like this person's trying to show up more stable now all right so you've got the six of pentacles here in the truth of the matter spirit why is the six of pentacles here in the truth of the matter please Six of Pentacles comes out with the Ace of Wands. I feel like this person is passionate about giving equally, okay? And, you know, they're passionate about this connection, okay? Now, I feel like in the past, they didn't really take a lot of action, okay? And that could be why you um, feel some doubt, okay? Hearing um, actions speak louder, speak louder. 
be found of his love songs. Right, so uh, um, who's that? Is that, uh, no, it's not Eric Benet. It's John Legend. Okay, so um, you can go listen to that song. That's about somebody who's broken a lot of promises and um, like the person doesn't believe them anymore. Okay, so it, it could be that, all right? So now you have the three of earth or the three of pentacles in the position of the truth of the matter. Spirit, why is this in the position of the truth of the matter? Why is this three of pentacles here for my earth signs with the 10 of cups? Okay, so there is a collaboration here, could have been a long-term collaboration. With the Ten of Cups, it's the happy life, happy wife, happy family. Okay, there is a lot of love here. And it's coming out with the Six of Cups. They want to mend something, okay? Even if at the bottom of the deck is the Seven of Pentacles, you know, you may feel like you've been waiting for a long time for some t type of significant response with the nine of swords it could be giving you anxiety there is a lot of love here the justice card is here feel like there is a desire to want to bring balance could be a libra four of swords there's a you know um you may feel like there's not a lot of action and that this person is deceiving you okay so we're gonna take a look at this knight of wands here at um in the position of the truth of the matter spirit why is this knight of wands here Show me. Okay. So you have here the Knight of Wands, okay? This is coming in and out energy. And that may be how you perceive them, okay? Even if they're showing you signs of action right now, you could be still doubting that, okay? You could be you know, holding back right now because you're unsure of this person's commitment because they came up as the Knight of Wands, okay? But with the Empress, they do see you as very nurturing, okay? And you also have here the Knight of Cups, okay? They are making a love offer, okay? You have the Queen of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck, okay? So they see you as their significant other with the Two of Cups, you know, soulmate frequency, the moon, that's their, you know, their emotion and the king of cups they do hold back their feelings though okay it's like and, and i don't feel like they hold them back because they don't want to share i feel like they have trouble they have trouble doing that okay so we're gonna take a look at the kipper see what else comes out for you guys spirit can you show me what else do my earth signs need to know taurus virgo capricorn please what else does Earth need to know? You have occupation here. This could be about somebody's work, okay? Or work versus love life or like move or somebody trying to find employment or whether they can work on it together. Maybe somebody's job stands in the way. Spirit, can you show me what else? Anything else from this deck? Message? Privileged lady in adjudication, bad health at the bottom of the deck. Let's get a deck to clarify these. Spirit wise occupation here. With doubt, okay, so there could be like, let's say you were moving and the other person was afraid they wouldn't find employment or they could be saying that you could be thinking well is it that they really are trying or do they want to come with me right or let's say um this person always puts work before the relationship you doubt they're going to change that it could be anything like that okay message spirit why abundance okay so there's some type of finances or blessing that's heading towards my earth sign something that puts you in the forefront something that you started beforehand i feel like it turns out better than you expected privileged lady spirit okay with loneliness right and grief you could be very worried that this person isn't going to um because whatever it is, I feel like something's in motion for you that can't be 
retracted. Okay? And I feel like you've made a decision and you're standing by it. I feel like there's a little fear attached because you're not sure what this person is going to do, okay? I feel like what you want is peace and honesty, okay? And perseverance, but you're worried, okay? So you're standing in your truth and that's not always easy, all right? You got judication here, spirit. Why is this judication here for my earth signs, please? Why is this judication here for earth signs? Why is this judication here for earth signs, please? imagination i feel like sorry guys my phone um was dying but the judication is coming out with imagination right so i feel like what that is saying is that a decision has to be made about how to be inventive at to a solution to an upcoming problem it feels like a side problem to an accomplishment that you're getting that affects somebody else and, and you have to, that's what the pause is about. Okay, so let's look at this bad health that's at the bottom of the deck. Spirit, why is bad health here? I feel like somebody's got a lot of anxiety and it could be you because of the unknowing. Why is this bad health here? Okay, so uh, the bad health is like your nerves, okay? Uh, because you have your peace, okay? So you decided that you would accept whatever outcome comes with this, okay? And you're standing in courage, but it's not always easy. And there's a lot of change afoot, okay? And there's uh, this thing of being patient right now, okay? Somebody, you know, could be feeling guilty about something, okay? Maybe you feel like whatever you have in motion, you can't ask this person to sacrifice something. But it feels like somebody has to sacrifice something, and then you got happiness and success. So I feel like it does come out very good for you, but there is fucking fear attached, okay? Because the change doesn't only affect you. The change doesn't only affect you, okay? So we're going to get a love and romance. And see what else we can find out, spirit. For Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, can you show me what else they might need to know for the month of December? What else do they need to know? You have to make the effort. Religious factors, age, race, religion, wedding. Anything else from this deck, spirit? Anything else, last shuffle. At the bottom of the deck, keep an open mind, okay? So, and that may be a, a challenge right now for you because it's like you're facing some fear to have whatever it is that is coming to you, you had to risk it, risk it, risk it all, okay? And this has to do with self-love, okay? Choosing yourself, something like that. Look at the bottom of the deck, it says take a leap of faith, but let's see. Make an effort, spirit, for a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn for the month of December, why is this? Stand by me, yes, okay? So I feel like both of you are gonna make a, uh, uh, an attempt at this, okay? With the religious factors, age, race, religion, or some other factor that makes it hard to get on the same page, could just be upbringing. Why is this religious factors here? Fix it, okay, but there is a desire to make things happen, okay? I feel like there are regrets here about how the past went. Spirit, why is this wedding card here? Can you show me why is wedding here for Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn for the month of December? Hands of time. Okay, I feel like, listen, if you're married, I feel like this is confirming that, you know, you're, you, you may be facing some challenges, but there's a workaround. Okay, um, I feel like the reason why you're so stressed is because you do have some insecurities about a past situation. If you're not married, I feel like there's very promising, okay? But there are some insecurities here, but you do have happily ever after here, okay? Uh, keep an open mind at the bottom of the deck. 
okay? I feel like all of this is starting about a disagreement, okay? A disagreement as to how something's gonna happen that affects both of you, okay? I feel like you both wanna weather out the storm here, okay? It's just about how, okay, you may have very different approaches as to how this, some problem that has come up should be addressed, but it doesn't really feel like a problem. It feels like a blessing that causes the problem, all right? So that's what I have for you guys. I'd just like to say thank you to my returning subscribers for coming through and spending a little time with me. And if you're a new viewer and you felt that I resonated with you, please like, subscribe, and comment is I'd love to have you as part of the lovely soul family. I'm wishing you all light and love and blessings on blessings. And please remember to be yourself because authenticity is divine. Bye, guys.